when I was pestering him for answers to questions, pestering him for this secret source for playing the saxophone. And he replied back with, Dan, the answer to all your questions. to today's vlog slowly but surely the great jumper is being replaced by the blue cardigan um sadly the great jumper has got holes in it now and holes in it holes in it now and it's sort of going off I'm just practicing a little bit of soprano this morning uh the cuckoo by barry cockcroft which i haven't played for years and it probably showed as i was playing it then loads and loads of weird stuff going on in this lots and lots of multiphonics um it's definitely one of those ones that you do at a classical recital where 15 people attend um oh more importantly for me just practice it's you know because getting motivated i said it before in this vlog about how important it is to play music not just exercises all the time and for me particularly i've just had a cancellation for some someone and it's kind of great to be able to go okay i've now got an hour where i was intending to be teaching and now i can do some practice and not get down the rabbit hole of watching youtube videos as you are right now <laughs> Now, if you're new to the vlog, you may not know, uh, I mentioned it in this vlog here from, gosh, it'll be coming up four years ago now, broke my finger. And the finger's been okay for a while, but when it's cold, it really plays up. And just now, just 20 minutes of practice, and my finger is in agony, and I know that what I need to do is just rest right now. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you uh, a new project we're going to put together for Cambridge Saxophone. That's my website. You can get four free lessons uh, over there below. Uh, we're going to start transcribing Sonny Rollins's Surrey with the Fringe on top from uh, Nuke's time, mainly because um, on Tuesday, in my previous vlog, when Amy and my daughter were singing at the OT, they actually sang that and I thought, hey Amy, you know, you actually, you, you, some of the music that you're singing, Daddy actually plays. So obviously there's a limit to how much I can put onto the vlog because of ooh, ow, copyright reasons. But what I tend to do, uh, boot logic up, then I drag in the track from iTunes and then what I want to do is split it up into clips. So what I tend to do is I say to students that a clip is what you should expect to be able to do in one sitting. For some students, two or three clips can be good, but the idea is, is you take that small clip and then work on that and go from that. The reason I've chosen Surrey with the Fringe on top is A, it's a fantastic Sony track, B, Sony only plays it with the drums, so it's easier to pick out what's going on with the sax, and C, it's all based roughly around one note for a lot of the melody. And the way Sonny plays with the rhythm is just incredible. And so often we get so hung up about notes, we forget about rhythm. And especially when you're listening to Sonny, the genius behind Sonny Rollins' improvisations is the rhythm sometimes more than the notes. So I take that as an MP3 and I stick it into a shared folder that my students can get. Obviously you need to be a student to get this. There's nothing to stop, of course, you getting this track and doing it yourself. If you wanna be doing it all yourself, I'm showing you how to do it basically. Uh, but if you wanna be, have it all done for you, Cambridge Saxophone's the place to go, get a platinum membership. <laughs> Now, of course, if you're on alto, you're gonna to have to transpose this up the octave most of the time, which is always a bit of a pain for students because it's the way it is, but it's so good. And you're not gonna, it's not gonna do any harm taking it up the octave. So 
So 16 clips. So why 16? Well, basically you can do four clips a week then and you can do it roughly within just over a month, can't you? So it's well worth doing. If you've never done any transcription before, then do please consider going to the Cambridge Saxophone website. A lot of people shy away from it because they haven't been given the tools to unlock it. That's where I was for a number of years. But remember that quote I've said to you many times from Bramford that he said to me 15 years ago, longer than that now, when I was pestering him for answers to questions, pestering him for this secret source for playing the saxophone. And he replied back with, Dan, the answers to all your questions are on recordings. I have a few hours, well I have an hour and a half actually off before my next student and it's a nice day, it's relatively warm and I've been putting off going to the dump with loads of stuff in my garage for about three months so I'm going to get it done today. That is now, well the first lesson is on Cambridge Saxophone uh, for you to watch if you're watching it tomorrow if I've, when I've put, never mind, it'll be up there soon. Uh, I'm just doing a little bit of extra practice and then I've got some more music to share with you. And not to sound like a stuck record, no pun intended, but the answers are all on recordings no matter how you listen to them. So today, get listening, go to the Cambridge Saxon website if you're not sure what to listen to, there's loads and loads of stuff there. But if you need answers, they're on recordings.